Hi, welcome back to Raunchy Reality Recaps. And in this video, we're going over life after lockup. Now, I haven't been um, really getting into this because, you know, your girl been busy. But definitely check out um, uh, Auntie's Advice, Tracy Trini's show, According to Amber, True Feelings by Me. And I think Shanmika's Den as well. I might got the name wrong on that. But check out those because they always have full recaps. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, I'm going to try my best to keep up with this. Now, um, we're going to be talking about Chevelle and Quaylen. Um, so, y'all, and because I haven't keeping up, here's like, you know, a, a kind of a little short recap. Um, we've seen them a few years back. Now they're back on Life After Lockup, and apparently they've been on and off the past couple of years. Now they decided to get married. Um, their mamas both had a fight in the wedding venue because one mama didn't want to pay for something. I think Quaylen's mom didn't want to pay for it or something like that. And, um, then she had, Chevelle had Quaylen take her daughter to an amusement park to have fun and bond together. And then also now he wants to adopt her daughter. They both want him to adopt her daughter, but apparently that's going to cost a lot of money, especially with the fact that they don't think it's going to be so easy for her father, who I get from what I'm getting, it's not completely in the picture as it has, you know, a father should be, but still he has legal rights and it's going to be hard for him to talk him into giving him up, you know, because that's the legal rights to his child. So anywho, um, we come in and Chevelle and her daughter are sitting down at the table and they start talking about the wedding and her daughter's like, I'll give you 20 bucks if I don't have to go. And that tells you something right there. And she was like, how are you going to kiss him? He, you don't know if he brushes his teeth. That girl had me rolling. <laughs> She did. That girl, something. And I don't know, but these kids are weird. Kids are so weird. Like, I know I was weird when I was a kid, but the girl was, homegirl, I think it was with Tostitos. She was dunking them in some, like, um, Sunny D, it looked like. Like, they were Oreos and milk. I don't know if I should try it or I don't know. Anywho, so it seems like Chevelle's really trying to push um, her daughter into, you know, wanting Quaylen to be her I keep on wanting to call him Quayhog um wanting to be her father you know her father and the girl ain't having it she says she don't want to call him father dad anymore and you know it, that she had fun at the music park but you know it didn't really do anything as far as them bonding and Chevelle was taught that well I can't remember who got in the, the top of the conversation but I was talking about you know if something happened to Chevelle Chevelle was like well you, you know you go with Quaylen and I keep on wanting to call him Quayhog y'all or Quaylude something like that um so yeah she and it's like, why would she go with him? You have a perfectly good mother that she's probably way more attached to than a stepdaddy, okay? And it's like, y'all been on and off these past couple years. So it's probably not safe for her to, like, have her whole, like... It's probably not a good idea to me if they've been on and off, on and off, for her to have um her Quaylen as her legal father it really I mean in my idea it's not in my mind it's not this my my opinion only but it's not a good idea because if he's in and out like why why would you do that like you already talk about how you you know her father's not in her picture but this guy's in and out like is he having a relate is Quaylen having a relationship with her like a father should be if they're on the outs with the mother um, yeah, so, and she's trying to push it really hard, and it's like, the, some of these women are ridiculous, they want the perfect picture family in their head, not thinking about the detriment it's gonna do to the child, it's just not a good idea, I just, I can't stand it when women try to push their kids to call another man dad, <laughs> especially the ones who are in around a relationship like that, it's crazy, anywho, so, um, Chevelle's worried about telling Quaylen because 
she how how much he cares about our daughter and everything and how he's going to take it so in the next scene we see her you know talk to him they're having a good time in the kitchen you know i guess cooking or whatever and then she kind of like mentions how she's not going to call um her daughter's father and talk about the whole adoption thing and that kind of gets him upset and you know and instead of telling her the truth which i think he does need to know that her daughter is having you know issues with it um because it's okay for kids to have issues and this is part of you know raising kids and everything for them to have feelings be indecisive and everything so this is a perfect time for him to like get used to it and to know how to deal with it so he can deal with it so he can make it right she just tries to say that she just changes her mind which i don't think it's the best decision because if 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 you're looking at it from his side it's like she's changing her mind about this and you know does she not think he's gonna be a good father instead of like hey you know she's you know my daughter's having issues with this, you know, her, her feelings, you know, because um, Chevelle might not have any attachment to her daughter's father. And, you know, that's perfectly understandable, but her daughter does. So, I mean, he's getting, Quillen's getting upset and everything. And I mean, I don't think a little bit too upset about the situation. He should have understand, like, it's a big deal, you know? And he was like, oh, we wasted time doing all this. Give me the number or I'll call him. And she's like, you don't have the number. So it, it left off with them being in a big fight about it because she didn't want to be um, honest about it. And Quaylen's not more understanding about it. And then, you know, kind of leaves on edge, like, you know, we might not get married and all that crap, you know, just to keep the audience drawn in. So that's all we got from this week. Again, I watched these on YouTube. So if I'm missing something, let me know. I might've cut off at the end. I mean, I don't know. I try to catch them before they end up leaving. So y'all have a great day. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll be, um, bringing out a whole bunch of other ones. Thanks.